word did it come from that which we possess? Where does it come from? Look at Job, if you will. Job 121. Right down the way. And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, how'd you get here? I asked my mama that back then. Mama, I, I, how did y'all get me? Well, we were walking along one day, and there you were in a photo. Oh. <laughs> but in all seriousness, life is a precious thing. How did we get it? Who put us here? Well, I just happened. Yeah. Well, I believe the theory of evolution is the theory of the devil. So right. we evolved from some lesser species. God made us in his own image, didn't he? Amen. So everything we have more importantly, that, that which life embraces comes from God. You show me one thing that you have that didn't come from God. But let's read Psalm 50 in, in your paper down next, verse 10 through verse 12. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains. And the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For well, the world is mine in the fullness thereof. So get on, get on to God. Amen. He lets us be stewards over for a while, doesn't he? Then Haggai, chapter 2, verse 8, he says, Plainly, the silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Folks, the good part about it, our Father owns it all. He lets you get out work, get a little portion of it, no, you got to have it to live on. question is, how much should one give back to the Lord? As a donation, no, as a tithe. And I'm going to read after that by 1 Corinthians 16, verse 1, the verse 2 at the bottom of your page. Now concerning the collection for the saints, and I've given order to the churches of Galatia, so you do so also. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you let by him in store as God has proffered him. That there be no hearings when I come. If you haven't prospered anything, then obviously you don't know anything. But if the Lord has blessed you and prospered, then you owe the tithe, don't you? And if, as you study the scripture, it seems that 10% has always been a pattern for giving. And the first time we find that is when Abraham met Melchizedek, the high priest. Literally, it was Jesus. And he gave him a tenth of the spoils of the war. That was the beginning of our records of giving back to the Lord. Jacob likewise gave a tenth, did he not? The nation of Israel were commanded to give. And if you will, look on your back of your page, Leviticus 27, verse 30. And all the tithe of the land, whether the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. And again, 
again, that was a tenth that God had commanded under the law that they give. I'm going to share one with you. My pastor of years gone by had a favorite saying. I'll never forget it. He had it posted outside the church building. Don't give till it hurts. Give till it helps. Think about that a moment. Don't give till it hurts. Give till it helps. As the Lord prospered you. 